If you've been following anything going on in the stock market over the past week or so, you're probably aware that people on Reddit have been inflating the price of both GameStop and AMC stock in order to fight back against the big hedge funds. In addition to being kind of hilarious, it's also created an insane amount of backlash against Robinhood, one of the biggest trading companies. Robinhood has become one of the most popular sites due to their ease of use and lack of trading fees. While they started restricting the public's ability to trade stock, most likely at the request of either the hedge funds or the government, that's just speculation on my part, and basically everyone is upset about it. I'd initially wanted to rank all the Star Wars films this week, but simply could not pass up on the fact that everyone is talking about Robin Hood. Thus, we shall be discussing the 1991 Kevin Costner adventure, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Thank you so much for checking out the review. Before we get started, click on that red subscribe button and that notification bell next to it. That way you know whenever I post a new video. 1991 was a heck of a year for Hollywood films. We got Beauty and the Beast, Terminator 2, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, obviously, Hook, What About Bob, Backdraft, City Slickers, Father of the Bride, Fried Green Tomatoes, JFK, and Silence of the Lambs. It wasn't exactly 1994, but 1991 was definitely an awesome time to go to the movies. Terminator 2 and Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves were the two highest grossing films at the North American box office. One of those is the greatest action movie of all time, and the other one is Terminator 2. You see, that was a joke, because obviously Terminator 2 is a masterpiece and the greatest action movie of all time. While this Kevin Costner film was certainly in good company, it managed to somehow stand out as this big, dumb, sometimes funny, sometimes heartfelt and thoughtful, and always over-the-top take on the famous English thief and his merry band of misfits. Taking place sometime during the Third Crusade, the extremely American Kevin Costner is Robin of Loxley, an English nobleman who has been locked away in a Jerusalem prison with his friend Peter. He ends up breaking out of said prison, taking Peter with him, and freeing a Moor from his bonds and bringing him along too. For the layperson, a Moor is basically what the English called Muslims during the Middle Ages. If I'm wrong about that, don't get mad at me, get mad at Wikipedia. After their daring escape, Peter is shot with an arrow, and with his final words, pleads with Robin to return to England and give his ring to his sister Marion. Robin obviously agrees, and heads off on his way with his new Moorish friend Azim in tow. This is all fairly 90s action-adventure movie stuff, and upon returning home, he finds his father was accused of being a devil worshipper by the Sheriff of Nottingham, and then murdered to death. Thus begins Robin's new life in exile and quest to avenge his father's murder, follow through on his pledge to Peter, and subsequently romance made Marion along the way, because after all, this is a Robin Hood movie starring Kevin Costner and Kevin Costner's amazing haircut. I'd be a liar if I said to you that this film doesn't have a number of problems, but I will tell you this, it's one of the most entertaining movies you will ever see. Kevin Costner puts zero effort into an English accent, which he then immediately abandons. The script veers dangerously close to so bad it's good territory. Sometimes the performances are cheesy and everything that happens is rather predictable. Director Kevin Reynolds, who seems to be one of those filmmakers that trouble always seems to find, was left in a bit of a pickle during the production of this movie. The studio executives were so desperate to make sure that Robin Hood wasn't overshadowed by Alan Rickman's Sheriff of Nottingham, that they actually locked out the film's editor from the editing room so their guy could edit the movie himself. Yikes. This might seem a little weird, but when you actually watch the movie, it makes perfect sense. Alan Rickman somehow gives the performance of a lifetime. It appears that he was either on some sort of uppers, or Kevin Reynolds told him that the Sheriff of Nottingham is a complete psychopath who sleeps with every woman in the kingdom, yells at all of his employees, and runs his own cousin through with a freaking sword. I mean, you, you gotta hand it to Rickman. He goes completely insane here, and it is a marvelous thing to watch. The guy quite literally has a witch living in his castle, and he's constantly like going to her for advice and standing there while she cuts up little creatures and then mashes their guts around on a dish, which apparently lets her read the future or something. This movie is nuts. In addition to the sheriff, you've got all the expected characters from Robin Hood lore. Maid Marian, Friar Tuck, Will Scarlet, Little John, at the very end of the movie, an uncredited Sean Connery shows up as Richard the Lionheart, King of England, out of nowhere, and it's kind of amazing. Azim is played by a surprisingly ripped Morgan Freeman, and unsurprisingly, he's one of the best parts of the movie. Freeman appears to be acting like he's in a serious movie, 
and it really brings a heavy dose of class to the whole adventure. The music is appropriately upbeat and adventurous. Robin Hood steals from the rich and gives to the poor. They build a huge village up in the trees, and the world has just the right amount of grunginess to it. I know that I'm not watching an incredible masterpiece, and that's okay. I suppose the nicest thing I can say about the movie is this. If I'm sitting at home watching TV and flipping through channels and this movie is on, you can bet your bottom dollar that I'm staying on that couch and watching whatever is left of the movie. There's honestly not a lot of movies I can say that about, but Robin Hood Prince of Thieves is certainly a crowd pleaser and just my kind of 90s junk food version of Hollywood cinema. Thank you so much for watching the review. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing to the channel. You can also like the video and share it. Both of those things help the channel grow. And please sound off down in the comments. Let me know what you think of Robin Hood Prince of Thieves, and I'll see you next Wednesday at 9 a.m.